time of it, but at least it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Not, not as bad as it could have been. Fortunately, again, the strongest winds have apparently remained just offshore. What you're going to be seeing now is some footage from the space shuttle in regards to what the hurricane was looking like. And you'll be able to see the eye was very tightly wound up. The eye is about 20 miles in diameter. And the flashes that you see at the bottom of the screen are some lightning from some of the heavier squalls to the south of the center. This would be well out over the open gulf. Now, we don't have any geography on there for you, but at this time, the eye was very near the Gulfport area or around the uh, Biloxi area and has been continuing, of course, to move to the west, northwest throughout the period. Now, when we take a look at our radar, our local radar, we do see that we do have some squalls, and these, of course, we've been watching all through the morning. They are gradually spreading on westward. They're now about to enter the Baton Rouge area. We're also picking up uh, some uh, minor activity as far east as the Achaf or rather west of the Atchafalaya Basin, and this will continue moving to the west at about 15 miles an hour, so we'll be having at least some showers by later on this morning, possibly some fairly moderate squalls in the area by later on in the day, say late this afternoon, don't at the present time foresee that there will be any real troublemakers. Winds will be picking up from a northerly direction to around 10, 15, 20 miles an hour, and of course gusting near the squalls, but again, we don't foresee any serious problems. Now you can see how these bands are lined up pretty much in a north-south direction, and that again is a very good indication of where the eye is. It would be in this general area, and we take a look at the satellite image, you'll be able to see again how the storm has been moving through the nighttime hours, and of course it's continuing to move at a fairly steady pace now to about 15 miles an hour, and the eye, as we said, is just now crossing the coastline in the vicinity of the Gulfport, past Christian, uh, Bay St. Louis areas. And uh, that is, of course, where the brunt of the storm will be felt. Now, we also have them for you here. These are the latest coordinates from the National Hurricane Center. However, radar reports indicate the eye is at 30.4 north, 89.1 west, repeating 89.1 west. And as we said, that would be just along the coast or just inland in the vicinity of Bay St. Louis and Gulfport should continue moving in a west-northwesterly direction between Hammond and Slidell, or rather between Slidell and Bogalusa, probably a little closer to Bogalusa, and then begin swinging on towards the northwest, uh, probably just south of Macomb, Mississippi, and perhaps on into northeastern Louisiana from there. That, of course, means that our effects will be somewhat minimized. The worst of it will be in the northeastern part of the, or rather the eastern part of Louisiana, and then from there shifting to the northeast by later on this evening and tonight. Flood watch is in effect for the eastern part of the state, a tornado watch in effect for those areas as well for us. Don't foresee any problems like that as yet. Of course, small craft should stay in port until winds and seas start subsiding, and that will not like to be until later tomorrow. So by and large, the effects as far as the Kenyan are concerned should be on the fringes. Uh, nothing too serious anticipated. We will be seeing a few squalls moving through. Could see winds, and I say again, we could see winds up to around 30 or 40 miles an hour from those squalls. Do not consider that likely, just a remote possibility. So that's really the only word of caution that you have for the residents of yes. Acadiana. Okay, I think that perhaps it would be good of you mm -hmm. to say this, right? All right. Anything to what he said? <laughs> <laughs> he does a lot faster than I do. <laughs> exactly. As always, we'll continue to update you on any information that you might need about the hurricane, and we'll be back in half an hour with more for you. Let's go to Jerry Lewis now, the telephone in Las Vegas.